Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showcasing the Spigot plugin titled GSIT by GCollet, which is a Minecraft plugin that allows your users to sit, lay, ride entities, and crawl. So again, in my opinion, this is the most updated and best plugin for these type of features. So the base command for this plugin is going to be slash sit. And this actually just allows you to sit right down on the floor or any block you're standing on. Additionally, there are a few blocks that you can sit on pretty much at any time just by right clicking. This includes stuff like the slab and you can go ahead and shift to get off there or stairs. And you can go ahead and set which you want to sit on in the config. You can also run the command slash sit toggle and this disables this feature. You can run the command slash lay and this allows you to lay as if you're laying in a bed but you can do it pretty much anywhere at any time and on any block which is super nice it adds a little bit more you can make your own custom bed through this method you can also run the command slash crawl you're crawling around like a baby sort of the swimming animation but you'll notice that you aren't able to move forward left or right you can only turn your body around while in this animation. Additionally, you can also go ahead and ride players or entities. So we can go ahead and right click on them. And as you guys can see, it's JJ2 active that's moving on his own. I'm not controlling him. When you're riding a user or an entity, you actually do not have control over them. You're sort of just there for the ride. Same with riding something like a chicken. We could do slash ride in front of it and boom, we are riding the chicken and it's just sort of moving all on its own and we're just sort of following it. This can be enabled or disabled within the config for the plugin. Now I will go ahead and showcase a little bit of the config and show what you can do with it. To access the config files, you're just gonna go into your plugins folder. You're going to wanna click on the GSIT folder and then go to config.yml. There you got basic stuff such as check automatically for updates. If you want to set specific sit materials such as stairs, slabs, carpet, and snow. And this is blocks that can be set on by clicking. You can disable or enable allow people to sit on unsafe locations, allowing multiple players to sit on the same block. Custom message for sitting. You can allow players to sit on players that can be set to true or false. I actually do like having it set to true, so we can go ahead and set it to that. There are different config options for laying and there are different config options for riding. So here is like the amount of range um, between you and another entity from being able to ride on it. And then um, there's some blocked and other stuff as well, such as a world blacklist and material whitelist. But overall, it's super simple and straightforward, which I love. Once you make any changes, you can just hit save. Well guys, that concludes my plugin showcase for the plugin GSIT. I'll leave a link to download this plugin down in the description below, along with my server IP and link tree, Barbercraft, down in the description below as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Minecraft content. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by the Sangota Marketplace, a great website for server owners to get high quality premium Minecraft plugins for their server. Sangota promotes fair business practices and is constantly improving their website based off of user feedback.